My name is Jack Steele and the course I've applied for is the Acting BA Honours course. So the first monologue I've chosen to do for you guys today is from a published play called Narrative written by Anthony Nielsen. And what do you know about love? I mean, your mum loved you, right? That's why you're so secure. Is that why you're in therapy? Is that why you slept with another man? Because you're that secure. Because your mum loved you so much. But what if she didn't? You know, what if she didn't love you at all? And that you've been wrong this whole time? Because tell me this, who did she learn it from? Because you told me she was treated like rubbish. So where did she learn how to love? I mean, I can tell you from TV and books. Well, you know what, maybe even Hollywood. You know, she gave you stuff. You know, she showered you with unqualified praise and even told you you'd inherit the earth. And that was all a lie. You know, it was nothing but a cheap, superficial imitation of love. Even worse, from somebody who didn't even know the meaning of the word. You know, you don't know, even know who you are. You don't know what you want or what you think. You know, life throws stuff at you and you collapse and you wonder why. Because there's no core to you. There's no foundation. There is nothing that real love builds. You know, your mum loved you like a child loves a doll. She didn't know any other way. <laughs> you know what, neither do you. The second monologue I have chosen to do is from a play called One Man, Two Governors, and it is written by Richard Bean. You see, my father, Tommy Henshaw, he would have been proud of me. Well, you know, what I've done in my life. You see, I used to play washboard in a, in a skiffle band, but they went to see the Beatles last Tuesday night and well, well, sat me Wednesday, sat me Wednesday morning. You know, it's ironic that, because it weren't for, if it weren't for me, there'd be no Beatles. You know, I went to see them in Hamburg, right? Absolutely rubbish. I even said to that John Lennon, I said, John, you're going nowhere. Have you ever considered writing your own songs at all? Anyway, so I'm skin as usual. I'm busking. I've got a guitar, mouth organ, bass drum, and well, definition of mental illness, of course. And this Larry bloke comes over and he asked me if I did requests. So I said, of course. Then he said, I'd like you to play a song for my mum. So I said, yeah, where is she? Well, then he said Tasmania and started laughing. So of course I, I nutted him. But check this, this little bloke, Roscoe, Roscoe Crabb, he's seen all this and offers me a week's work in Brighton, says, he needs the muscle, but I tell him this is only fat. You see, I haven't eaten since last night. I don't get paid till the end of the week. And I'm staying in a pub and I don't even have enough shrapnel to buy myself a pint. <laughs> 